Hello people of the internet and welcome back to Terraria. It's been quite a while since my last video, I know, um, but if we don't count that little shitty video I uploaded of a glitch I encountered, but I have been hard at work as you can see. I have 212 hours, I don't remember how much it was the last time I recorded, but anyways. I'm just gonna update this a little bit, uh, give it time to load in. So, um, I spent all right. So, first of all, some life updates in general. I have moved out of my parents' house and I am now living at a an undisclosed location, but I am living on my own. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think, still think, don't think I can be very loud, but anyways. So uh, I also made some upgrades here to the base. As you can see, it's a big old tree now. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Maybe I should add the roots or something, but uh, that's good enough for now. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was mostly because I was just running out of space to store stuff, so I needed to expand. It, and I also didn't have, I mean, I just didn't have much room at all. As you can see above here, I did remove the arena that was here for fighting bosses before. I don't really need it, because I have a bunch of other stuff. Also removed my, uh, my potion stuff, that I can show them that later. But I mean, yeah, it was mostly just reorganizing and uh, replacing all the chests, so yeah. The, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff here. And up here is just uh, some of the random crafting stations that, you know, the special crafting stations. I also installed a couple teleporters. This one goes to uh, the graveyard if I ever need to buy something from a specific a person that. Because some NPCs only sell stuff in the Great Aquarium, so we just made a quick teleporter. And down here is also another teleporter which takes me to a um, demon altar, because some crafting recipes require demon altar, so it's just uh, nice to have that close proximity. Uh, that's still the teleporter to the mob farm. Uh, over here is the new place for uh, for plants quite nice uh, I mean it doesn't look cool like this for some reason I think it, I mean it just looks cooler on the map uh, I mean think I think this was here before this is just where I spent time grinding out all the sandstorm stuff enemies you know uh, this asphalt arena is still up here if we go over here, you will find a lawn platform where I farmed for the surface hollow creatures. And over here you will find the place I farmed for the corruption, corruption creatures. Um, and over here is where I farmed the glowing mushroom creatures because the field, oops, the field that I have over here is a bit too small for that, and also there are NPCs living there, so I just decided to make a separate one. Over here is the, I mean like this, you can see it's crimson, but I mostly used it for grinding out all the, all of the uh, blood feeders and blood jellies and those, uh, yeah, these these enemies, because uh, they were spawning pretty. Uh, I did try using this lake here for that, but they were spawning kind of ineffectively. Not not that much. Not often enough for my use cases. Uh, oh yeah. Um, so I did farm for some... I did also farm for the underground desert enemies. Quite a lot, so I did need to... I mean, some enemies only obviously only spawn 
in corrupt crimson and all that sort of type desert, you know. So I had to make it uh, crimson corruption, whatever. So yeah, I guess I just missed the cleanup process a bit later. So yeah, there we go. Um, I mean, obviously you can't see that much of it. Oh yeah, this is just a platform where I farm. I needed the uh, destroyer summons, so I no, not destroy either of world summons. So I farmed. This was where I farmed vicious mushrooms a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, there was this thing. I need to actually make a border here to keep the crimson in. So otherwise, it's gonna spread the uh, spread way farther, further. Oh my, the shimmer biome is crimsonified as well. Uh, I mean, it's fine. I have dug a trench here so that it can't spread the ocean, but it can spread into the jungle, so yeah, I need to fix that sometime soon. Uh, I spent some time... Um, I mean, I can show you, oh yeah. Uh, I actually made a completely new uh, underground uh, arena for mob farm, because the old one, as it turned out, is just a tad bit too high up and and the, you may be wondering okay why does that matter because that means that no rune or rune wizards and uh, teams cannot spawn up here so i had to make a new farm uh, i just made it a bit i mean it's basically the same i just made it a bit bigger wider I seem to always have a bit of corruption here. Maybe need to just get some biome side potions and uh, check that it's fine. I can't see too well here. There definitely could be some just random crimson blocks here. And uh, sorry, let's go back. Uh, so yeah, I made a new bigger farm here. I mean, it's not that much bigger, but it is a bit wider, taller. I mean, mainly to make sure that I can have a bit more room to go around here without uh, lowering the mob spawns. That beehive is rolling quite far. Uh, I mean, yeah. Mm, what else has changed? Uh, I mean, I don't think that much changed in the world. I don't honestly remember what was the last thing I showed off. Oh yeah, I did collect paintings, that was the thing. But I did also spend time here, you can see. I've collected every pet. Uh, I, I did label these pretty extensively here. But these are from presents, goodie bags, these are the rare as I call them pets. This one's from they're all from zombies with a very low chance, the dirtiest block, glow tulip, amber mosquito, eucalyptus sap and the pumpkin seed. And we have terrible merchant pets, the fishing pets you get from fishing or crates or something like that. Uh, these are pets dropped by enemies, these are by random NPCs. And these are the light pets, and down here we have all the 
boss pits and the master mode boss pits, obviously. I don't think this is a master mode boss pit, but it's fine. I just... Mm, it's a lot of stuff, so it doesn't always fit perfectly. Over here, I haven't completed it yet. Uh, this is the mounts section. Here are all the kites, which I collected. Uh, I did the also... I mean, like, I kind of do it like back and forth and in conjunction because uh, for a lot of these when I was farming for them I just kind of got other stuff as well like I have and I'll have uh, all the yo-yos most I have like most things most melee weapons here uh, I did farm and I'll have as you can see the full crafting tree for the boots and the arm shield I have almost everything for the shell phone, I just need a bunch more of these uh, fishing stuff, I just haven't done that. I did finally acquire two toolboxes, and that took forever, they just weren't really dropping that much from presents, but now I have my full uh, builder setup here. As you can see the everything both for these and the, the this one <laughs> pretty cool um i mean like thing is i have a good amount of stuff for these uh with the wings these and everything i just haven't had uh, i just haven't felt like uh, spending time on putting them on the walls. Uh, I do, I did the, uh, oh yeah, um, I don't quite remember um, where I left off. Oh yeah, I got, uh, whatever, I'll tell that later. I have, uh, I mean, I got a couple more paintings of, I mean, <laughs> these don't look like they're supposed to in quotation marks, but it's fine. Uh, I have three of the Don't Star paints. I got one more of the Martian paint. One, I mean, more. I got one paint, Martian painting finally. There's still two missing. And I think I got, since last time, I got two of the first uh, Christmas uh, present paintings from the Traveling Merchant. Like, it's a. Uh, it's gonna take forever getting these, like, uh, I'm just waiting on him spawning. As I said, like, I'm just gonna uh, do other stuff and when Terrible Merchants spawn, I'll just check in on them if they sell what they need. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I have, like, most armor sets as well. Um, oh yeah, you may be looking at that, but let's focus on one thing at a time. I have most armor sets and their additional helmets and stuff. Uh, I'm only missing the Shroomite because, you know, chlor Chlorify, there's a, a lot of Chlorify that you need. Also got a good amount of the developer sets, obviously not everyone, but so a few. Uh, vanity, more Vanity, but what you're probably looking at, I have, in fact, almost I'm missing two, but I have almost every single banner in the game. So yeah, Old Ones Army, The Pillars, Martians, Frost, Pumpkin Moon, Frost Legion, Solar Eclipse, Pirates, uh, The Graveyard, The Sandstorm. Also these enemies are absolutely awesome design designs. Sad that they're so like specific, but uh, yeah, these uh, shark enemies. If you didn't even know about these, but yet yeah, the during sandstorms, if you're in corrupt crimson or hollow deserts, then you get these awesome-looking sharks instead of the sh normal sand sharks. Really cool, yeah. Uh, I also have 100% of the beast area uh, filled out. I guess you could say. I mean, yeah, it's everything. We have all the NPCs, town slimes, critters, uh, blood moon enemies, runes, uh, so the desert frost, jungle, dungeon, uh, 
hell, corruption, crimson, halo, mushrooms, goblins, old ones, army, uh, the pirates, martians, uh, yeah, I mean, you see it right in front of you, I have every single uh, entry unlocked in the beast area. I haven't bought the pylon yet, but I'll do that later. Anyways, um, goblins, yeah, these are the two enemies that I'm missing right here. The blood moon fishing enemies, the emo goblin shark and the dead nautilus. I'm pretty close on them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I need two more dead nautilus and five more emo goblin sharks. So yeah, it shouldn't take too long, like maybe two or three more nights if I'm lucky. So yeah, the blood moons, wind, snowstorm, rain, meteor, halo, crimson, corruption, dungeon, uh, hell, hell, desert, tem jungle, temple, jungle, fr frost, pumpkin, I mean, thunder, spider caves, marble caves, granite caves the caves underground, caverns, the sky, the surface, and all the slimes, and also all of the uh, additional banners. This one you get from the Old One's Army, these from the Desert Temples, Pyramids, these are from Hell, these are from the Sky Houses, these are from the Dungeon, and these are just crafted manually. So yeah, I think that's everything. Um, I'm currently I'm just gonna finish up the mounts as I while I finish up the uh, the final blood moon enemies. After that, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm probably just gonna try to finish off the collections that I have started. The um. I'm thinking probably like just finish off because like I'm basically done with the armor sets. It's just get get more chlorified. Then I'm probably just gonna fin focus on the weapons. Um, thing I've thought about is like technically I have all the golden critters, but I have all of them in. Terrariums. I don't have every golden critter as an item, but I don't know, maybe if I'm done with everything else and I really feel like grinding golden critters again, even though that was like one of the worst parts and what really made me like just take breaks, take and quit and take breaks from the game for a very long time, maybe later, but like I know that's a tech technicality that I don't have all of them of the items as separate items but like eh, I don't know that that just sounds boring doesn't sound fun at all is there anything else left to show off uh, I guess I could show you yeah um, if we go over to a dungeon because uh, like I already had a good amount of the banners but I was missing a few so like if you didn't know the way that the dungeon depend, uh, decides where to spawn certain enemies like or well you didn't maybe you didn't even know but the dungeon has uh, the the variants as in the Armor, blue armored bones, hell armored bones, and rust, rusty armored bones. Then the special uh, types of mages, you could say, you know, the added casters, necromancers, and then the di di diabolists. I think that's how you pronounce. Um, they decide to spawn them based on the background wall. So, for instance, here. You have this wall, okay, so like, uh, I don't remember, I think that the, this wall has just the normal blue armor bones, here you, 
if you're at this wall, you get the hell armored bones, and if you are at, excuse me, yeah, you're coming with me, buddy. And if you're at uh, the type of wall that's over here, you get. Uh, And this type of wall you get the rusty armor bones oh and the ragged caster spawn more frequently at this this wall and the necromancer spawn more frequently at this type of wall and the the diabolists spawn behind this wall you can also tell which kind of enemy spawn based on the banners handling so for instance Banners here, you see that's the Molten Legion banner, so that means that the Molten uh, Hello Armored Bones, I mean, spawn. Same here, you see that's the Rusty Armored Bones spawn behind here, and stuff like that. That's a lantern, that's not a banner. Oh, yeah, I guess I could pick these up. Don't want to have them hanging around in random places. The same here in Necromantic Sigil, that's for the Necromancers. They can spawn here. Uh, yeah. And I mean, like, if you. Yes, also, if you're wondering the. Uh, Rune Wizards and Tims, you just gotta. They only spawn down in this part of the. Um, the world. So where lava starts to spawn, they spawn down here. And they can't spawn uh, further up. Yeah. Um, same with you no know, pigrons. I farm pigrons up around here in the world, so it doesn't matter how high up they are. Although I did mostly use a the only time that I formed the pigrons manually was when I wanted the, as in naturally, in a natural place in the world was here and that was when I needed to get the... I mean I haven't really... Like, I thought that since I'm, star I'm farming for the banners I should try to get all of the drops for the respective enemies as well So for the bigger ones, I uh, they only drop ba this bacon drop when they're killed. Uh, well, if you find them and kill them, but these three items you you can get from them if you farm them from statues, and you also get uh, all of the types of bigger ones from statues. It's like. Your best bet for getting pigrons is to just find them, their statues and form them like that. Because like, they spawn so infrequently otherwise and like have some really weird stuff like... I'm pretty sure pigrons can only spawn on pink ice. As in, these don't... pigrons don't actually spawn on red and purple ice. So you like you cut off and just find... Like, I don't know how exactly you or orchestrated so that they spawn on pink eyes, but you're in a corruption or crimson. I don't know, I'm not sure. It's like it's better to just find a statue than manually make. I was just pretty lucky, I guess, because I just had a statue. I just found a statue when I was exploring. I don't know if I have all the statues, and I frankly don't care until I ne obviously need them. But yes, that is it. Uh, I love uh, being able to just fly along here and have this nice wave of banners fluttering behind me. But yeah, I do have almost all the banners. Just need a few more, two more. Uh, but yeah, that's a good uh, update. Um, for those, I don't know if you have watched to the end, but for the two of you that are wondering where my uh, other Wyatt's video is, it's coming, I mean the second part. 
it's coming. I am, I've already reported it, cut it up, and uh, it's gonna be releasing soon after this one. Uh, yeah. You can expect to see um, more, obviously, Terraria Collector world updates in the future. Uh, you can also expect to see I mean, uh, a continuation of the Outer Wilds series and um, Doors, that's right. I will be coming back to Doors soon in, in the form of a video. I have actually played Doors quite, quite a lot, but I will be getting a video up on that game soon. So probably need to do something about this trophy room because it's uh, looks really weird with snow bricks up here, but then it just turns into sandstone down here and, and pumpkins for the for some reason at the end. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little look, this little update. Uh, um, I hope you have a great life. Hope to see you again sometime and. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, have a great life, goodbye.